<laughs> Stephanie Thorne once wrote, Nothing is more sacred as the bond between a horse and a rider. No other creature can ever become so emotionally close to a human as a horse. When a horse dies, the memory lives on, because an enormous part of the owner's heart, soul, and the very existence dies also. So too for accomplished and dedicated horseman, Enos Mafokate. Yeah, a horse to me, truly speaking, is a person, is not a horse. It's just calling the name is a horse. Horse have done a lot in the army, police, taking the finisher house to house in the past, plowing. A horse is a part of the family. When you got problems at home, you don't know what to do. You have to talk with the horse. The horse will look after you when you look after it. The horse is your friend. For Enos Mafakate, his Soweto Equestrian Center, a dream still in the making, is the culmination of a life's journey with horses. Opening the center in January this year, Enos held an open day as part of his ongoing work to bring township communities closer to the horse. The people that just been driving, passing the place, they see the horses, they see the children riding, but they don't know exactly what it is. Because a lot of people, they don't know also the difference of, uh, of the race and the show jumping. They think, when you are a, as long as you are a rider, you are a jockey. No, which you have to explain to them. We got jockey, we got cross country, we got show jump, we got all those kind of things. They all fall in one pot, but all different. The vaulting was the biggest thing actually for the day, where we got horses coming from from Kayalami. We had peop, white people which they really want to see this thing happening, and they bred our horse. And these children they enjoy to ride that horse for the first time. I have approached the Senate, which is a big body, to say, we need to get the um, uh, uh, instructor in Soweto, because now we're working from outside Soweto and coming back to Soweto. So we need the instructor to work with inside Soweto, get these kids riding the, those horses. You cannot do those things like a Mickey Mouse. So that's why in that center, I want everything must be done professional. I want to see the black child competing with the same child in a world. Inos Mafokate, the first black South African to compete and triumph in international show jumping, began working with horses in Soweto Township in 1988. This is something where, when I started in 1988 with the SPCA, I said to them, because horses by those days, they were in a very bad neglected. And I said to them, what we can do if we start from the children, in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, those children, this thing will be spread out quite a lot. In realizing the need to conscientize the community about the horse, Enos decided to target children, to change their perceptions about the horse. When he saw children throwing stones at horses in the township, he would stop his car and talk to them about the horse. I called them, I said, the horse is eating the grass doesn't eat no your vegetable or no anything fruits for you. So why are you throwing that horse with a stone? And the other one said, is this one? The other one said, is this one? Is this one? I said, but how do you like it when you sit on your table and I throw you the stone? No, I feel so. I said, it's the same. And honestly, that thing, to make it the children that way, and I'll buy them some sweets sometimes, but to make them friend. Then today, you, you, you see them, when you see the horse, oh, this is a horse. I mean, a lot of children, they never even pet a horse, especially when I'm talking about the township. And today, they will just come, just want and pet the horse, you know, and talking with that horse, and brushing it, they're scared, putting their white hands. And this just shows you that education is the biggest thing you will get it in this world. The township horse is a breed apart having its origins from all over South Africa and neighboring African countries. Some of the horses are coming outside the township. Some of the horses, they are bred in, in the township. Some of people, that they ride them from Lesotho or from somewhere Orange Free State and come with the horses till they get to Soweto. So they're coming all over the place, but you don't get this time a lot of thoroughbreds going in, like in a year's back. One year, we find a horse was coming from the racetrack. 
because we had a one one guy which I went name his name he used to sell just horses he didn't worry what horses this and when we talked to him he said he's only selling it so since he's not there we don't get those thoroughbreds inside most of them we're getting them is the ponies and the city ponies and the one that breed in so we too Working to improve the quality of life for township horses, for 20 years now, Enos currently holds the position of horse unit manager at the People's Dispensary for Sick Animals. I'm the horse unit manager. I'm not a vet. And I see the horse in a bad condition, I'll tell them this is a problem, the vet have to look at it, and I have to carry it from there. So the vet comes first to me, I'll come behind the vet, and then we're working together, and that's why the township, everything is going the way it's going, because PDSA has became very friendly to them. So we are working with them, and like uh, African horse sickness, we have done 80 horses this year in Soweto and Orange Farm. And we got about nearly 120. We deworm them, we do that, and we don't charge them not even a cent. If you ask for 20 rand, you're chasing that person away. And who's going to suffer is a horse. They're calling me social worker because I'll be patient with you when you're talking to me. No hurry. I'm in a hurry. I'll stop my hurry and hear what is coming from you and then give it, give it back to you. At the centre, apart from training township children in horse riding and dressage, with the assistance of the World Horse Welfare, Enos is training farriers drawn from the township youth. The course also includes instruction in life skills and business management. The World Horse Welfare, we have to thank them. They came up with about two point something million a year. This is a five years contract and we are looking for 10 farriers for every year and 10 settlers for every year. In May the 9th, they will be getting the certificate. Every Wednesday, Enos takes his protege farriers into Orange Farm, where he runs a horse clinic for coal yard operators and their horses. PDSA, SPCA, animal in this, you can call all of them, you know. Is I'm doing this thing in a part of them. I just said, let's improve our coal-yard people, which is a shame with them, if you look at them. I mean, the way they, they clothes, the horses, how they look after it, where the horse horses stay. You look at those stables, they're in a crawl with razor wires, with pop wires, there's things that are sticking out like that. We're having horses injured, and if we can put this thing together, those horses they must be all in, in a one center, they're going to be giving a bath, they're going to know on Sunday afternoon to Monday, they're having their day off, and those horses we, is where we could help those horses. The horse societies, they've done a lot. All of them, high felt, you can call them, free nothing SPCA, poisons, a ready port, you can call it, animal in distress, you know. I mean, everybody, people, they've been working so nice. And to me, I've always been saying, black and white can work together in this country, like two hands is what the, we want to see. Today, I'm a very proud man to see this in Soweto and Orange Farm, what is happening. From groom to international champion horseman. For Inas Mafakate, born into the discriminatory era of apartheid South Africa, it's been a long, hard road. Yeah, things happen. Which people didn't see it, things happen. We were not allowed to compete with any white in any, any sports because you're black. But when you are a groom, you could ride, you could school the horse at home, you could lunch the horse at home but not in competing the shows. So it's how I start to work with the horses. I have to open this door, not a joke. I have to open this door for the blacks because I have to come in as a groom and they will respect me because I'm a groom. And then in Marit's brother's school in 1975 is where 
the opening, the show jumping officially from the horse society. I was the first one to compete there and I won it with the grooms last week. Enos's big break came from Anneli Vuchafene. Flying in the face of apartheid prejudice, she recognized Enos's potential and appointed him her stable manager. In July 1980, Anneli raised the sponsorship necessary for Enos to compete at the Royal International Show in the UK. For the last 20 years, South Africa was not allowed to, to compete outside the country. And I break that ice in Wembley. I was the first one in South Africa, in Africa, to present South Africa in Wembley. And that thing was a big thing to me. So I went to Wembley and I came fifth out of 31 champions for around the world and was the only South African presenting South Africa. When I went to that Heathrow airport, I went down on my knees and I thanked God. I said, thank you very much. I didn't believe this one day would happen to me. Some 24 years later, his lifelong dream finally came true. In full Springbok colors, Enos Mafakata represented his country in the All Nations Cup. I think the one and the only is to see presenting your country presenting your country without giving any colors or anything like that. And standing there, you say, I'm a really South African. And really, is when we were winning all nation cup in Swaziland and with my horse, Selmy, my, my second wife, Selmy, my heart, he was there. Even if the show I went on it, I didn't ride well because my heart, he was present the country. You know how much you feel when they're coming with those songs for South Africa? Africa. When those words coming that way, you feel really now today. Anybody can tell me. When we won that All Nation Cup in Swaziland, we were two blacks and two whites. So when we won that, it was the biggest thing to me. I was happy to, to be a groom and watching the whites to winning, to, to go to present South Africa, having South African colors. I was happy for them those days because I knew I can never get those colors because with my color. And today, when that day came, it was the biggest thing. And I said, by the flag, I'm holding it. And honestly, that is my biggest win in South Africa, in a whole show jump, in a whole things I've done in, a, in my lifetime. There's no bigger one which more than that whole nation come. Enos, having fulfilled his dream in the international arena, his second passion, the dream of a world-class equestrian center in Soweto, is still a long way off. Actually, I'll put it this way, it's still like a squatter camp. It's still like a person or any animal in a felt which has been chucked somewhere else. He doesn't know where can he go underneath which tree where can he lie be, be, before you know the place? The only thing I've come up in a center is the 16 stables out of 30. We couldn't finish up the other 14 stables because the money was not there. And uh, we have also put some paddocks. And um, I think um, probably if, like the government said, they don't only talk and not do it, if they can do something, that place we can have a, a show jumping arena, a grass arena, we can have a, a two big a sand arenas, so we can have a good three arenas in that ground, and that will also keep us going forward. That center is a community center, and everybody is welcome to come there and come give a help. I want to see a lot of whites coming to Soweto, helping this development. This has never ever happened anywhere in the world. And Soweto has become the first 
black township to have something like this. And we can do a bigger thing if we can work together. Enos Mafakata, committed and accomplished horseman, proudly South African and a dedicated friend of the horse. To be part of Enos's dream for a world-class equestrian centre in Soweto, contact Enos on 082-330-7030.